Welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today we are going to be doing a peekaboo watermelon wine glass. These are extremely budget friendly and will make a nice addition to those wine glasses for this summer. So let's get to it. This is a 15 ounce wine glass and I purchased it from the Dollar Tree. So $1, you can't beat that. The first thing I'm going to do is place it into a football wand. And then I'm going to cut out some watermelon seeds that I'd found from a Google search on the computer. I'm going to be also using a hot pink for the base. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that so that way I have it ready. Since we are dealing with glass, I'm going to place it on something soft. <laughs> I can't tell you how, how many times I forgot I was dealing with glass and I almost broke it. So make sure you place it onto something soft. And we are going to add the seeds first to the outside of this wine glass. I'm just going to place them randomly because that's how they typically would be inside of a watermelon. But I know sometimes you guys kind of like it all in line. So just do whatever you would like to do with these seeds. It's completely up to you. But this is how I'm going to do it for this tutorial. Again, I'm just going to place those randomly around the outside of this wine glass. Now I'm going to show you guys how I did the bottom of the wine glass. The curve of this wine wine glass is extremely smooth, so it's really not that difficult to wrap it around the bottom. I just placed it and smoothed it out really well with my thumb. Those are all placed. Oh, look, no more lunch lady gloves. Aren't you guys happy for me? <laughs> I know I'm happy. <laughs> I'm going to put my gloves on and I'm gonna come through and just make sure all those seeds are perfectly smoothed down because if they're not, you'll be able to see the bubbles inside of the wine glass when we're done. So I'm gonna buff it out so that way there's no fingerprints on it and then we'll be ready to apply the epoxy. The epoxy that I like to use is the Lumilite's Amazing Clear Cast. I'm gonna take part A and part B. I'm gonna do one pump each, which is about one ounce each, which it's a little much for, for this small wine glass, so I ended up using some for other tumblers I had to do. But I mixed that up really well, and now I'm going to apply it to my wine glass. Now I'm just going to apply this all over my wine glass. And what I like to do is just come through and smooth it out really well. Make sure you come up to the rim, all the way to the bottom. You don't have to worry about air bubbles because we're going to be putting glitter right on top of this, so you don't have to worry about any type of air bubbles. The key is just to make sure that you completely cover this with that epoxy because if you leave any little pockets where there's no epoxy then obviously that glitter is not going to stick so just make sure you rub that in really well and we'll be ready to move on to the next step now i'm using a hot pink glitter that i just purchased from michael's you can use any type of hot pink that you would like or any type of pink that you would like it's not set in stone it's just whatever you prefer. This is what I'm using. I'm gonna twirl it a little bit in my hand just to make sure everything is fully coated and all those seams where I was wiping down are all nice and flat. And then I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna give it a nice coating of my hot pink glitter. I'm going to do the bottom first, make sure it's nice and coated. And then I'm just going to work my way up the wine glass all the way to the rim because we wanna make sure we hit that rim too. So here I am just going up the side all the way to the rim and I'm just going to repeat this process completely around the wine glass until it's nice and coated. Now I'm going to place that on my turner for about three hours and then we will be ready to add another coat of epoxy to it. Now it has been drying for three hours and we're ready to apply another coat. I'm already liking that color. <laughs> so I just did up another ounce each of my A and B, mixed it up really well. And I'm going to make sure that I apply a nice coat of this epoxy to my wine glass you, because you want that next step to be super smooth. So you might also need to apply another coat after this one just to make sure that when we go to paint the outside of it, it is super smooth. 
I'm going to put that onto my turner after I get my epoxy on and I want it to cure for at least 24 hours. We want to make sure that it's nice and cured for this next step. So I found this really cute SVG on Etsy. I'll attach the link in the description below as to the shop that I purchased it from. I thought it was really cute, so I went with it. <laughs> I just loaded that up into my Cricut. I'm gonna get it cut out, and we are going to apply it to our wine glass. I know there are some of you out there that just love decal day. I'm not one of those people, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm gonna sit here and I'm going to weed out my vinyls and then we will place it onto our wine glass. I'm going to take my transfer tape. I'm gonna cut out a big chunk of it, place it on my decal, smooth it out really well. I just use my thumb because I'm not fancy. <laughs> And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut slits in it because this wine glass is curved and so this will kind of help out with placing it onto the surface. My glass is nice and cured, as you can see here, it has a very pretty color to it. I'm gonna take my vinyl and I'm just going to put that onto my wine glass. Now, as I said, this is a peekaboo, so this doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. You just wanna make sure that everything is nice and smooth down so that way when we go to apply the spray paint, nothing seeps up under your decal here. So just make sure it's all smooth and do the best you can. I believe in you, you can do this. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I should have taken off that bottom swirl and applied it separately, but you know, I, I went all in and I, I tried to apply it all as one. But if you're gonna be doing it, I might suggest you maybe kind of section it off and apply it that way. After I had that all applied, I took it off camera and actually smoothed it out a little bit better because there were some places where it was kind of a little messed up. So I, I did the best I did, I think. <laughs> now we're gonna move outside and we're gonna apply the paints. I'm using a pink, I think it's berry pink, and a white for the outside. I used the pink uh, first because I just wanted to make sure that pink color stayed on the inside of my cup and then painted it white on the outside. Here it is outside, all pretty and shiny. And now I'm gonna take my berry pink and I'm gonna give it a nice coating of that. I'm gonna let that dry for 15 to 20 minutes. It really depends on your environment, on how fast these dry. Once my berry pink is dry, I'm gonna come through and apply my white the same way. And you wanna let that dry for a good hour now that everything's nice and dry, I have some sunshine yellow and I also have mermaid alcohol inks by Tim Holtz. I have some 91% uh, rubbing alcohol here. And the reason why I have the two colors is because I don't have green, so I'm gonna make my own green. <laughs> why not? I'm gonna pour a little bit of the alcohol into a separate little dish because I want my stuff super watered down. The first thing I'm going to do is take my yellow in my blue and mix it together and make my green and this is pretty much the process that I'm going to do around the entire cup. I'm just going to keep mixing up my yellow and blue to make my green. Now the brush that I'm using, just a foam brush that I cut up. You don't need to be fancy. That's basically all I do. This is budget friendly. We're working with what we got here. <laughs> so I'm going to take my mixture and you just want to make stripes around the cup. You don't wanna rub side to side. You wanna keep that up and down motion because if you look at a watermelon, there are stripes on the watermelon. So just, if you need to, get a watermelon for inspiration and that's all you gotta do. So as you can see, I'm just dabbing that, that color in a straight line all the way to the bottom, back up to the top. Then I'm gonna take some of my alcohol and I'm going to just kind of loosen up that ink and I'm going to apply it the same way. I'm just gonna keep going completely around the tumbler doing this. Don't be scared, I know you can do this. It is super simple and very easy to do. You got this. I'm just going to continue to keep doing this dabbing motion up and down my tumbler while remixing my yellow and blue to make my darker green shades in between all the way around my wine glass until I'm satisfied with the way it looks. 
Now these tumbler, or not tumblers, these wine glasses, there we go. <laughs> these wine glasses are so inexpensive. These would make amazing gifts for family, or you could do up a whole set so that we have them for the summer when you have guests over. These would be such a wow factor at that next party, I think. Now I'm just gonna kind of slow it down and show you guys. I'm just gonna kind of touch up a couple more spots here. I'm just gonna kind of look it over. I'm really liking the way it looks. I'm gonna continue to take my green and maybe add a couple more stripes up in the middle here. See, that wasn't so hard, right? You know I always say it, so here I go, I'm gonna say it now. There is no right or wrong when it comes to doing art. What you are making is a walking art piece, so be proud of that. You're doing an awesome job, and I know you can do this. Once I am satisfied with the way that looks, I'm gonna kinda of take a smaller brush that I had on hand. If you don't have one on hand, you could again take that foam brush and just use the thin part of it, the tip of it, and do the same thing. Or you don't have to do this at all. It's completely up to you. But I'm taking my alcohol, I'm kinda of dabbing it on my towel because I don't want it to water down, and I'm gonna do stripes all around my tumbler. I just felt like it needed that extra dimension, so that's what I'm doing. All right, now that we're done fussing with that, we are ready to move on to pulling off our vinyls to expose our peekaboo. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my X-Acto knife and very carefully, because you don't wanna scuff the outside of your paint there, very carefully come through and pull that vinyl off. Now, if you accidentally do nick the paint, it's not a big deal. We're gonna take a toothpick and a very small amount of that rubbing alcohol and just kind of rub the area very gently with a very small amount of that alcohol again and make sure it smooths back out because once that epoxy is applied, you won't even really be able to notice it. The thing I really liked about these wine glasses is when I did the peekaboo, it looks like it's carved out of the watermelon when you look at it on the inside. I thought it was a really neat effect. Now I'm just gonna finish pulling all my vinyls off and we'll be ready to move on to our next step. Here it is, almost done. I really like the way this looks. I think it's really neat, especially the inside, how it looks like it's etched out of the watermelon. I just think it's really neat. So now I'm going to take my football and I'm gonna place that back into my glass. And then I'm going to take some Rust-Oleum clear coat that I like to use. And I'm gonna take it outside. I'm gonna give it a nice coating. There it is right there. That's the Rust-Oleum two times semi-gloss clear that I like to use. It has ultra cover. So it, it you only need one coat and it's good to go. So now that's all done up, I have my A and B ready and we're going to apply the last coat of epoxy. I'm just gonna rub that around really well. After I'm done with this coat, I'll place it onto my turner, let that fully cure and it will be ready for my wine. <laughs> Before I let you guys go, I just wanted to say thank you so very much for all the subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. I truly appreciate it. Whether you take this and duplicate it, or you make something completely your own, I hope that you guys had fun watching this tutorial today. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more tutorials, tips, or vlogs I have coming your way, and I will see you guys next time.